Hi right, folks and modelers, uh, welcome back to another chapter. Uh, this will be part 7 on the build for the uh, CVN 65 USS Enterprise at 1350 scale from Mini Hobby Models. So today, I know it's been, uh, I've been delaying my uploads. So yeah, it's a uh, I think it's taking me a long time to do all this stuff. So today I have uh, I have some bad news, which uh, I have two bad news actually. So, but before I go to the bad news, uh, let me just go through this uh, these hangar bay walls and the overhead that I have uh, painted. So I know last week I did mention that I was going to build some cargo stuff for the hangar bay but I think I was getting a bit burnt out uh, with all these scratch buildings because I think I've been doing this for about four, four to five weeks. So I decided to change some process and uh, you know get refreshed so I decided to paint first and then maybe go back to more sc scratch building so anyway this is how all these uh, all these walls looks like after I have painted them and and all these parts have been uh, painted with black first and then the white came on so that the uh, the colors the shading looks uh, much better but this is uh, still a bit halfway it's not really complete um, I'll probably do more more weatherings and uh, paintings on this so coming to the bad news uh, okay the first bad news is is a major disappointment for me so I'm a bit uh, depressed. In fact, I found this out today. So, uh, this is the overhead of the hangar bay. So I, I did add a lot of uh, smaller details, like uh, like like this kind of stuff here. You know, just to make it look uh, more realistic. Uh, I think it's just to depict all the things hanging down from the overhead. Uh, added some something to depict the pipings. You know, just these these are probably just something uh, on top of my head. It's not it's not based on any photos or drawings like these kind of things. So, uh, okay, so in the last video, I was, uh, I had a couple of these uh, bomb fuel tank racks uh, built. So I completed uh, 13, of, 13 of these racks and I have placed them uh, based on the drawings from Mike. So, uh, okay. So the bad news is I really messed up big time which is uh, I have super glued all these uh, racks to the overhead but the thing is these racks here it is uh, maybe for those who have been on the ship might notice it is uh, upside down. So the positioning of these racks are wrong. And I did try to, I did try to cut, cut it out, but uh, I think it's just super glued too strong and it's not gonna come off. And then there are so many of these legs here that are glued up to the overhead so 
I think I'm gonna have to live with this. So this is this is seriously a major disappointment to me. Of course, I can still put the fuel uh, fuel tanks and the bombs, but you know, it's the other way around. And yeah, so since I've discovered this, I haven't been feeling too good about this. So that is, uh, I'll show you how the actual thing looks like on my laptop. So that's how it should look like. So the bars are supposed to be sticking down. Uh, but mine is the other way around, so... Can't do much about this now. Unless I re build all these and you know just destroy these but i think that's just uh, too much too much work i i guess so i'm gonna be probably just leaving it like this for a while and this has also been painted uh, i think you can see that it is painted so that's one major disappointment there. And the second disappointment is uh, I have printed these these decals on this decal sheet and I have tested the, the especially the uh, the murals and I tried to stick them on to this center door here. But again, so these are inkjet printed. And so what happened when I put this in the water, the ink started to come off and everything just, you know, came off. So I won't be able to use these so I'm not sure if it's because, you know, the ink hasn't dried. I'm not sure if maybe I can just leave this for a week for the ink to dry, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's the problem. I think the inkjet uh, paints is not waterproof, so. So this is another major hiccup that I'm facing because I was hoping to paint this up, decal up and stick them into the hangar bay but, but now I don't have the decals for this. So that's another something to for me to think about again. So if I really want to have decals on these, I'll have to... I'll have to buy the decals. Or else I will just go without it. Or I can just cut these out and stick them without uh, putting, in, putting these in the, in the water. But that's gonna look... That's, it's not gonna look good if I just... Uh, cut them out and stick them, you know. So I don't really know what to do now. I'll have to, I'll have to sit down and think about this a little bit. So that's that two major bad news that I have today. So I'm not gonna be able to move now uh, maybe I'll go back to the scratch building of the fuel tanks cargo cargo items for the hangar bay because uh, I won't be able to attach these onto the the main hull and again, yeah, so this is really 
disappointing. Maybe to some people they might not realize this, but I'm, I'm sure those who have uh, worked on the ship will see this and you know, they know this is upside down. <clears throat> But anyway, so that's the the updates that I have. But anyway, this I think this this hangar bay will probably be seen almost maybe from this angle. It's it's not gonna be so visible. So in fact, even the painting I did not do a very thorough paint, painting because uh, a lot of things are not gonna be seen. So it's gonna look like that, I guess. So yeah, that's that's the only updates that I have for this time because uh, I know my progress is getting slow, and if I don't bring a, an update today, I think it will be another week before I can bring any any updates. So. I guess that's all for this time, uh, not much to show. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm a bit down today because of this and uh, okay, so I'm gonna go do some thinking and see what, what I'll come up with. So until the next time, uh, happy modeling and cheers for now, goodbye.